Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, back again with another unboxing video. And pardon me if I mispronounce this, but this comes from Swalky or Swokey. It says, Bring Sunshine to Trave. And what this is, and you can check the link within this video's description to find it online, and then also we're going to do a field test. So you'll be able to find that video there to see how it works out in the, out in the field. Obviously, right now I'm in the studio, so I don't have the sunshine in my studio. But this is a really not too large, yet not too small solar charger. So you get this, and we're going to look at it in great detail. You get a uh, get this cable here, and that's nice. You get a lot of carabiners. Obviously, you would not use these for climbing. These are only used for, uh, even though they may look similar, these are only used for... Uh, for applications such as this. And we're gonna go through that here in a second. I'm gonna show you what all you can do with this. And you get a user's manual. Package contents, one by 16 watt foldable dual port solar charger, one by micro USB cable, four by hooks, one by user manual. So we've got everything that's supposed to come with it. And then obviously that's some silicate gel. Uh, that we that we don't need. That's that just keeps things, I guess, uh, helps with humidity during shipping or whatever. So let's fold this bad boy open and see what we got here. So we've got this piece right here that opens. That's a piece of protective foam for packing right there. You can disregard that. And you can see the panel right here, monocrystalline panel. And without being too much of a nerd about it, um, monocrystalline is just a more, it's a more efficient form of solar panel. And you can check the link within this video's description for more specs, but basically if you have, a, if you have an inferior quality solar panel versus a monocrystalline, if you have them in the same amount of sun, typically a panel that's monocrystalline is probably going to perform better than a panel that is uh, that is not monocrystalline, that's the older solar technology. So you've got three panels here and then you've got these uh, these carabiners. So if you wanted to put this let's say on the back of a backpack while you're hiking you could put a carabiner there, you could put a carabiner here You know, maybe you want to hang it from a uh, from a tree. Put you a carabiner here. Put you a carabiner here. You, know, you could put it on the side of a tree where the sun's hitting it, of course. Or you could put it maybe on the top of a tent. Maybe you just run a piece of. Uh, of paracord or something through the uh, through the forest and and you want to uh, tether it up in the air so that it's it's not making uh, contact with the dirty ground or, you know maybe you're out on a boat and you want to tether it to the top of a boat these carabiners and these multiple uh, hoops right here really make it uh, make it very versatile so let's look at the back here and we're gonna see what uh, and there's some more silicate gel packing material. So it's actually a very simplistic design here. If you look at this, you'll see there's two, and I don't know how well you can see it within this video, uh, but there's two, um, two USB ports in there. You can see them right there. So just to demonstrate, and again, this is just the unboxing video, so I will be... Uh, Check the link within this video's description and find the field test. But see, I could plug this in there. This is just an iOS charging cable. And then I could plug this into my iPod Touch or my iPhone 6 Plus or whatever. 
obviously with this out in the field in the sun and then I could charge my device. Uh, also using this included cable that came with it, this right here is a, uh, and I rattled off the spec earlier, let's see, it was called a, it's a micro USB. I don't want to misquote that. Yeah, it's a micro USB cable. So a lot of devices, maybe you've used, uh, maybe you've used an Android device, maybe you've used a BlackBerry phone. That's the type of device that, that this cable commonly uh, charges. There's a ton of other types of devices that it charges too. But it's nice they included that as a bonus. Uh, one thing I do want to mention about this, there are some other solar panel kits that, uh, oh, and check this out. When you're finished using it, this pouch on the side kind of doubles as a, uh, as a place to store your cables. So you can put your, put your cables down in here, maybe some other small items that you may have, and just take them out in the field with you. So that's, that's nice. I mean, that's plenty roomy for an abundance of, uh, of small gear. But as I mentioned, this does not have a, um, this does not have a battery in it. So, you know, there are some, there are some foldable panels that have batteries with them. The advantage to having battery, to having a battery with it, oh, and also, if you wanted to use that storage compartment, if you didn't want to have these hooked on for travel, you could just put these in that in that zippered compartment right there, see? So that's another use for it. But the advantage to this not having a battery with it is that obviously you've got smaller size and weight. Uh, what's neat about this is that, you know, you are getting multiple panels. So for most of your most of your smaller devices, you know your your iPhones and your iPods, and again I'm going to test this in the field. I'm going to test it with both an iPhone 6 Plus and a and an iPod Touch. So check the link within this video's description to find that video. But to be able to charge during the day is great. Now what you could do if you wanted to get a um, a battery bank that's USB rechargeable. What you could do during the day is you could have that battery bank and, uh, and, and charge it up using the solar panels. And then when it's dark out, maybe you're camping or, uh, or whatever activity you may be involved with, you could then use that, um, that battery to recharge your devices uh, when it's dark. So there's some versatility here. And that's, that's the other thing I like about this, is having the, uh, you know, not one USB port, but two USB ports. And this is something I'm, I'm going to test in the field test video, so again, check that out. Check the link within this video's description, and you'll be able to find that video there. But what I'm, what I'm envisioning is using one of these ports to charge an iPod Touch or an iPhone, and then the other one to charge a, uh, a portable battery bank. So that way you're taking advantage of the sun during the day, you're charging your device, but you're concurrently charging a battery that can be used when the sun's not out if needed to recharge your, uh, your USB rechargeable devices. Good form factor. I mean, I really like the size of this. And just to give you a size comparison, uh, this right here is an iPhone 6 Plus, okay? That's an iPhone 6 Plus. And then this right here is an iPod Touch, the current model iPod Touch. And then let's fold this out just so you can see. That's what's so brilliant about it is how it unfolds. Because see, now you've got a big area. But when it's folded up, very compact. It's very compact to have all the functionality that it does. So this is just the unboxing. Let's see if it uh, let's see if it performs as well as as well in the field as it looks on my table here. So again, check the link within this video's description. 
because at the time of posting this, I will also have the field test video up. I haven't tested it in the field yet, but I will test it in the field. When you're watching this video, both videos will be available for you to view. And again, check the link within this video's description. You can find it online as well as the field test. And uh, be sure to subscribe youtube.com forward slash irixgaff. Thanks for watching and y'all have a good day.